Hey guys, today I'm gonna. Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a Empire tier list. Uh, in in um, the Empire of the World tier list maker. Uh, this I this video idea is heavily in, is is inspired by uh, not inspired like pretty much just taken from Drew and also you check out this his video either before or after this video because his videos are really good and you should definitely check them out. Okay, first uh first we're gonna. I mean, we're gonna knock it by order, and let's start. The Abbasid Caliphate was... Okay, this is a quite a bit, uh, early start to the video, but... The, uh, the Abbasid Caliphate was probably like... Uh, yeah, it's eight here, because it was big. But, yeah, it's kind of similar to the other ca Caliphates in general. It's generally eight here. The, the, the Kingdomids, the Persian Empire. Um, it's it was good, but I need to put it at the eight here because of, you know, you know, Alexander is great. The Ajuran Sultanate, I don't even know who is, who would, who, who, what empire that is. So yeah, just just put that, put it down in the that, put that, that uh, com mention what is that in the comments. I'm gonna put some things that I don't really know first. Ashanti, I don't know. The Ayubids, I think I ever n knew, but now I don't know. <laughs> and these guys, I don't know. And let me see. I've been here, this guy, these. Um, this empire, I don't, uh, I don't really know much of, so yeah. Okay, let's just start here. Uh, so, Axum was a very long lasting Ethiop e Ethiopian empire. It had, it's a C tier. Also, we're not talking about the. <coughs> I'm not really considering the. In this tier list, we're not gonna consider like the. The atrocities or the, like, the very bad stuff the empire did. Mostly just the. Just the, the the influence and the in general power they had they had. Assyria was very like was the one of the first civilizations, big civilizations. So I'm gonna put it at the, at uh your eight here. Okay, B. Austria Hungary, mm, C tier. Is this the, yeah? This is Austria Hungary. So Austria Hungary like. You know, got this. You know, like World War. It was. It didn't do very good at World War One. The Austrian Empire was a bit better, but not that good. Not the best. I mean, <coughs> the Aztecs. Uh, they were like the one of the like probably probably the strong, best uh, of the Colombian uh, Empire in Mesoamerica. Put it at eight here. <coughs> Babylon is definitely a pretty good one, so beat here. I'm I'm probably not gonna do every everything in this tier list though. But probably just most of it. The Belgian Empire the Congo exists. Like before I said I wasn't really gonna like uh talk about the atrocities as much. Yeah. <laughs> Again, uh this video was inspired by Dudorino. I kind of even talked about it, you know. Uh, so yeah, you, you should definitely check it out. I'm probably uh, I'm gonna uh, leave a link in the description. So the Empire of Brazil. This pretty. Uh, it was just pretty much like Brazil plus Uruguay. So D tier. Uh, maybe it's C tier because it didn't really have any like not not any like notable bad stuff that happened really. Pretty sure, yeah, the the war against Paraguay was won, but you know that that war, that was pretty bloody. Uh, the British the British Empire definitely S tier, uh, just from the power and influence. Not talking about you know the atrocities. The British Raj, uh, it's it was only the empire pretty much just Britain. So I'm just gonna uh who wait don't know. So the British Raj is not really an empire, so you can put it there. 
it was it was there pretty much just the colony of the British. Uh, the the Bulgarian Empire was big, but not exactly like didn't have that much influence in the whole world. So it's go it's going to sit here. The Burmese empires is just this empire. So and you can put it down there. The Byzantines. Um, <laughs> this card, then you can put it at B tier. The Mamluks. Um, I guess they they are they were quite a good empire because they were decently big, but they eventually f fell to the Ottomans. So B tier. I, I mean, like every empire falls, but you know, eventually falls. Some of these empires probably still like this. Maybe no, I don't think any of these parts like this. Uh, Carthage is a, definitely a very good one. Uh, either B or A. This uh, I'm just gonna flip this one. A. Okay. Yeah, they're like uh, they had a lot of influence over the Mediterranean, so which is pretty much at that time the whole world. The Chola Empire was really long lasting, but just I think it's, it's a B or A tier, but I think it's just gonna be a B tier. The Danish Empire, so like, pro you're, pro you're probably um, t talking about the Vikings. Not the Vikings, but you know, the Danish Vikings. And the, the, the you know, the Danish Empire. You know. Okay, the, uh, I think they're a B tier. They, they raided England a lot before building the Conquer. I don't, I don't really know the Danish. The Dutch Empire, they were good. I think they're A tier. A lot of th these are Asia. Let's put some um, lower empires now. <laughs> really an empire? Somewhat, yeah. Uh, D tier though, <laughs> not because they didn't have much influence and all that. Wasn't that known? Rome S goes to S tier, but yeah, S tier, S tier it is. The Georgian Empire was, yeah, they're technically an empire. Uh, C tier. They weren't, you know, that influence. Influ they didn't have that much influence, I mean. Ancient Egypt wasn't, again, not really an, somewhat an empire, but they're more just of a, yeah, it is an empire, actually. Uh, yeah, A tier. But maybe B tier, B tier. The Fatimids were, uh, it's another Kafid. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite high for a Kafid. It's quite good as Catholic, but it's just generally, you know, it's just the general Catholic. Francia or, um, was C, I think B tier. The French colonial empire, not the Napoleonic empire, probably. This is the, the flag is the pre-revolutionary flag, so, I'm, but I'm guessing it's both. It's a, it's a B tier compared to other empires because like they, they weren't that didn't that much, didn't have that much influence, and I'm just gonna do some uh quick um speed running of putting some different empires. The Gulf Turks um B tier, pretty was quite big. The German Empire. Uh, C tier, maybe B tier because of their navy, the their their navy ones, the Golden Horde. It was pretty much just a like a shoot of the Mongols. C tier, Gupta Empire. I'll leave it at B tier. The Han Dynasty. The Han Dynasty was like pretty much the first, not the first, but the, what the first like really first Chinese dynasty that had controlled all of China. They're a B they're a high B tier. The Hittites, the one the one of the Bronze Age empires that ruled over modern day Turkey. That's a it's a B tier. Maybe C tier because of their they're not a, not they're not as they didn't have that much influence compared to the other empires of the Bronze Age. To me. The Holy Roman Empire 
Well, then you're the Empire's mostly just like a lot of states. That so it's just a city at at best. The Huns, like, had uh, caused some parts of the uh, fall of the of Rome and was really big, but in the in the end of the day, they're just barbarians. So they're like like pretty much a lot of people in in somewhat of a of one in in. In a not very like, not very tight role. <coughs> the Incans, the Inca Empire. Okay, this I use the word empire a lot of it on this video. They are a B or A tier, but they didn't do very well against the. Uh, I guess the Aztecs didn't do very well, but and you can do it, put it in the B tier, in the B tier. <clears throat> the Italian Empire, like, wasn't very good in World War One and World War Two in, in general. So it's a it's a detail. The Japanese Empire, maybe it's also detail. The Japanese Empire, it just says Japan here, but um, yeah, it's the Japanese Empire or something. It was a B tier, but you know the trustees. So I think I could have put it in A tier, but yeah. But just the atrocities make make it uh, a bit here. The Khmer Empire, the um, it was the Khmer Empire. It was probably like a it was a bit here. A good one of the first one of the major South e East Asian kingdoms at the time. Uh, Korea. This is probably like the they probably they probably mean like. The go, go the go or something like that, something like that. Uh, the Korea is, is definitely a it's definitely a city. It's mostly just United Korea. Macedonia, uh, I'm guessing it's the Macedonian Empire. It was a, it, it was it could have been S tier, but because of the so uh, because it fell quite quickly. Um yeah. It was it 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 didn't it felt like just after Alexander died. So <clears throat> the Majapahit uh, controlled a lot of trade at the time. So it's a B tier, but not in the in the, end of the day, it's not really that not really that. Uh, it didn't have much influence over the. It had some quite a lot, but not that much over the world stage. Uh, Malacca. The, was this definitely a C tier, C or B t or D tier? Okay, C. Uh, the Mali Empire. It was like uh, they replaced the Sankha Empire in Africa, and it was like really rich. So A tier. I I have some like shared opinions with do the know on this tier list, but some but one of them I don't agree on is the Ottoman Empire. It it was like really good because it of its. Uh, the time, yeah, yes, it was slowly declining, but yeah, it was, uh, it, it, it ruled over a lot of the Middle East for a very long time, <coughs> and almost uh, sieged, almost took over Vienna if the wing to the from Poland didn't come. Marafa was a uh, was like was the one of the biggest Indian empires, eight year. The Maurya, another Indian Empire, just just put in B tier. Yeah. The Mayan Empires, um, wait, where, where did I put it? Put it here. Yeah, it's, I guess it's a B tier. Yeah. <coughs> the Mexican Empire, C tier. Yeah, it it was quite big, but yeah, it was mostly because of the Spanish, the Spanish, uh, what the Spanish gave, and also it eventually it, you know lost most of its. Most of its uh, North American land, most of its like you know, not, most of its uh, land that in the, all of its land actually in the modern day United States because of the Mex Mexican American War. Um, the Ming Dynasty um, was before the Qing Dynasty and af and I'm pretty sure it's after the Mongols. It's a it's a B tier. The Mongol Empire was really big, 
so it's lasting so but so a tier or s tier i'm gonna put it s tier the the napoleonic empire was really good but in the same time it just fell after napoleon uh, was exiled so yeah i'm putting it i'm putting it at a tier okay uh, the Muggles. Okay, they ruled over most of northern in India. I'm guessing they're uh, probably they're probably just the eighth year. North Sea Empire controlled over all of the North Sea, but and we're pretty much just the North Sea Vikings. So we here. The Empire of Oman ruled over a lot of a lot of. Wait, wait. Out of um, Eastern Africa, as w as well as uh, some parts of the Middle e Middle East. So I'm gonna put it quite high, but we didn't have that much influence, so not very high. So, so actually, not really quite, not not quite high. Until it just, it's mid. <laughs> uh, Parthia. Mm, Parthia's. It's like the it's like it's like the first Persian Empire in a long time, but it, it wasn't that as big. So it's a C tier. Poland, Lithuania, um, C or B tier. When it fell, it, it fell badly, but it was quite good for very good for a while. So I'm just gonna put it B tier. The Portuguese Empire, uh, they controlled. A, a, a lot of trading posts and and to this and to and uh, include including the the state the current the states of once the states of uh Timor Timor Leste and Mac Macau so they're a tier and also controlled over the Indian Ocean for some time. The Qing Dynasty, there's, there, they're probably a CO, COB tier. It's mostly about their fall that I that I put them in the C tier. You know the the the, the rebellion, the Boxer Rebellion, as well as as the century of humiliation. Really put put it down. The Russian Empire. I'm guessing this is not Soviet Union. Yeah, it's, it's not a Soviet Union. Uh, this is I'm I'm gonna uh, say that, that they're both. The again the atrocities were really bad, but they did stop the the Nazi Germany from invading all of Europe. So uh, all of uh pretty pretty much they stopped Nazi Germany from winning the war, I from from partially winning the war. So they're uh, they're the uh, A or B tier. I think they're A tier. Maybe okay. I'm just gonna put it B tier in the in the B tier. Uh, the Safavid Empire, another Persian Empire. Uh, C tier. This, the Sassanids, another, the Sassanids, another Persian Empire, earlier in history. They're B tier. The Seleucids who, uh, was at, um, it was a, a successor to the to Alexander the Great's emp apart empire it, that ruled over modern day Persia. I mean Iran and some parts of Pakistan. So they're uh, they're C tier, but they're B tier, but most of the land just because just is be, uh it's just because of us and the great stuff. So the Seljuk Empire <coughs> they raided over the Byzantine Empire a lot and and cost cost the. Uh, Cause the start of like the modern day Turkic kingdoms, uh, uh, countries around the on the area. So, B tier. <coughs> I'm gonna just do like three more now, maybe five more. The Serbian Empire, was it was it Indian Empire D tier? Siamese Empire is probably is also like a. I guess it's a, it's me, uh, maybe it's like a just maybe C tier. The Sikh Empire, 
BTR this, S C T R this, Songhai, uh, the the predecessor of the Molly Empire, they were B tier. Again, I just uh, I definitely said the word empire a lot in this in this video. The Spanish Empire had a lot of influence over pretty much everything that they ruled, mostly the Americas. So they're either probably A tier. The Sri Vijaya, uh, they were like the predecessor to the Marta Pipe, controlled uh, over most of the modern day Sumatra and and parts of Malaysia. So they're they're B tier because of their good influence over their very strong influence over the, the state of Malacca, which controlled the spice the spice trade of the time. The Swedish Empire, they, sweet, they eventually, um, you know, got heavily weakened from the Great Northern War, but they were really big and quite powerful. So they were eight year, not, not really powerful, in fact. The Tang Dynasty, I'm just gonna put it in a uh, here. Tibet wasn't really an empire; it's mostly just a country, uh, a country at that time. At the time. The Timurids were BTR. Tuitanga, it's a BTR. The Mayans were A tier, definitely. Vietnam, C tier. Xiangnu, A tier, very big area. The Yan Dynasty, uh, chi the, the Chinese part of the Mongol Empire. They're, they're a C tier. And finally, Ethiopia. B tier. So this is the tier list. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, remember to check out Rudy Daniel and his, as well as this tier list. And uh, so this is just my opinion of what uh, of the of the empires and in in what place they are. Of course, if you don't know what the tier list is, S is the best and F is the worst. And if you, as a progressively progressively get down get lower to f it gets worse get closer to f i mean so yeah like, uh and that's the end of the here's that's the end of the video remember to check out to the to the, to the, the link is down in the description and thank you for watching